detective. <laughs> Excuse me, a detective. Wherever the great detective goes, cases, great cases occur. Indeed, I am at the root of all evil. I'm. S huh? You know what? I'm not even gonna argue that. Okay, that's correct. Yes, you are that. <laughs> Yes, I assumed you must have asked him to investigate. Detective, could you... What? Where did he go? Was I really here at all? <laughs> was, was the detective a figment of Kazuma's imagination? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the escapades in the Great Ace Attorney. Uh, I guess these are going to be kind of short episodes, just because, again, like, as I mentioned in the previous one, I don't want to, like, cut in the middle of these so let's see how long it takes for us to get through these but i like to try and get to him but hey if it doesn't happen that's fine too yes we continue this i love the little warnings like these have spoilers make sure you play the main game yeah we're fine <laughs> 26th of february 9 17 a.m the british supreme court lord chief justice's office Ugh. here we are again Every time we visit here, the atmosphere in this place seems to get more and more overbearing. Just think, we could be at home with Mr. Sholmes and Iris having a nice, cozy breakfast. But we have a duty to report the outcome of the case, especially since we're guests here in Britain. So I'm afraid this visit couldn't have been avoided. I suppose not. But is there even anyone here? You can hear a pin drop in this place. It's too solemn for its own good. You, you, you can't hear the giant gears in the background. <laughs> the ticking of the clock. It is a very quiet, it is very quiet, isn't it? The only sound of the ticking of the great clock is it keeps perfect time. And then the pitter patters of something? Is that a horse? <laughs> no, right? Is there a horse in here? <laughs> there, who brought a horse? What, what was that, I wonder? The usual comforting sound of the clock seems to have been joined by a less comforting shuffling sound today. <laughs> I don't want that. Alright. Don't You're think about right. it. right. Something's disturbing the rhythmical ticking. They're already Rhythmical. thinking about it, Lewis. We're too late. It sounds rather like an unfit middle-aged man running from pillar to post. Clumsily. That's very specific. That's highly specific, Rinosuke. What's up with you? Hi, Gregson. Who are you calling an unfit? <sighs> <laughs> Hi, Gregson. <sighs> I mean, if you took the coat off, that would probably help. I know. Ooh, Gregson without his coat. Mm. <laughs> Sorry! Why did I get that reaction out of you? Hang on a second. <laughs> hey, look! Have you we've seen Gumshoe without his coat? You look great, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But the Gumshoe looks sexy. Uh, sure. That's cool, Pam. <laughs> oh, Inspector Gregson! What are you doing here? What am I? Ah, oh, isn't it plain and obvious? <laughs> oh, right, that's me. Hang on. <laughs> uh, yes, it is welcome to Castlevania. 58 seconds remaining, Inspector. I'm glad we're doing these. <laughs> ah, we'll have to talk later, sunshine. I have him running laps. Don't worry about it. Um, good, good morning, Lord Strongheart. Wow, he's really looking fiercely at his pocket watch today. And good morning to you! Business so early in the day? Oh, um, yes. Well, I mean, uh, it's about the other day. Um... We had to deliver our report to Long Strong Hat, as our dealings with Mr. Natsume are now over. Yes, the little Japanese man. I've already cast my eye over Van Zeke's report. Just... <laughs> 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 
I must say, the outcome surprised me. Uh, thank you for a job well done. You are too kite, my lord. It's not here, it's not there, and it's not over there either. Uh, still on the clock, detective. Um, I hope you don't mind me asking, but what exactly is the inspector doing? He's been herring around between the bookshelves looking beside himself with worry. He's looking for a particular work. The Lion's Pride. Now there's an all too familiar title. I don't know what that book is. It was case four with the with the oh. with the Gar the Garatives. Oh. We had a he, I know. he had the he had you know uh, what was it? So Saki had a receipt with books or something? Yeah. I'd heard it was a popular tale, so I obtained a copy from the rental library. However, I wasn't able to maintain my interest, so I soon cast it aside. I happened to notice a vacant spot on one of my shelves at the time. So I duly stowed the book there. Fortunately, I no longer remember where that was. Oh, God. Nope, not there, not here either. Come on, where are you lions hiding? The book is due back today, so I've asked Gregson to locate it for me with his investigative prowess. That seems like a misuse, but okay. Inside five minutes. Wh why, why, why that time limit? If it's due today, you have all day. I must say, I've never heard of anyone working so hard to find something. He's like a man possessed. Ah, yes. That's because his month's salary is staked upon the outcome. Oh my god. Oh my god. At whose instigation? Let me guess, this stony-faced lord. And the five-minute time limit. What's the significance of that? There is none. Just my vulgar mischievous spirit showing itself, I'm afraid. Strong heart. Wow. Oh, by your own admission. Ah, I, I can't. My feet. Are you kidding me? Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Time's up, Inspector. Ah. Which means that next month you will work unpaid and have no days off. What the hell? No, no days off? That seems illegal. <laughs> I'm working for Elon Musk. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but it sounds terrible. There really are just so many books here. It's overwhelming. He's gonna find it by complete accident, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> For some, perhaps. I've purchased every book, new or old, on the subject of law from all over the globe. Wouldn't have believed that a few short decades ago, a place like this couldn't have existed. What do you mean, Inspector? When I was a lad, no one ever dreamed of buying books. Oh, I see. Western books are such luxury items, I suppose, with their leather cover covers and fancy bindings. No, that's not it. <laughs> there was a tax on paper, see? Oh, on paper? Yeah. I mean, it was abolished about 30 years back now, but it used to be the case. There was a tax levied on any kind of paper. So obviously, that meant most folk couldn't afford to buy any books at all. And so that's why a place like the Retro Library you mentioned before came into existence, Lord Strongheart. Indeed. Vestiges of the paper tax system, you could say. The general public considers books as items for hire. London is home to a vast lending library of some three and a half million books. Only three and a half million? I own one million of them. Oh. <laughs> Wait, uh, you own a third of all the books? That's <laughs> incredible. You could hope to read all of that even if you were reincarnated 10,000 times. I could sure as hell try. To be reincarnated? 
yeah, sure, why not? That's fine. That's that's fine too. Yes, yes. Even I would choose to rent a book rather than purchase it if I knew I would I would read it infrequently. I mean, if he was reincarnated, he's probably Damon Gaunt because he looks like Damon Gaunt. Oh shoot! Yeah. <laughs> you want to know why I casted Lewis for Strongheart? <laughs> I don't know who that is, but he sounds like a classy person. <laughs> The subject of tax has actually surprised us already um, in the last few days. Sir? Sir? Ah, yes, yes, of course. I, I, it's, my lines are my lines are getting a, a little messed up there. I'm sorry, I read your mind. <laughs> Mr. Darahodo, that was a great impression. Oh, uh, uh, thanks. But anyway, the subject of tax has actually surprised us already in the last few days. It came up in Mr. Natsume's trial. It seems that the window in his room was filled in due to some kind of window tax. Ah, yes, that would be true. I remember... Yes, fortunately, the window tax was abolished here some 40 years ago. We have a lot of taxes that were abolished. There's a lot of taxes. <laughs> Too much. Sadly, in the East End in particular, many windowless houses remain. Britain's always had a bit of a thing for tax and stuff. Whatever they can tax, they tax. Sugar, salt, tea, coffee, you name it. Candles, beards... Very taxing endeavor! Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? Sorry? What was that last one? Did you say beards? Yup, the beard tax. Never heard of it. Never? Why should people have to pay money just because they let their facial hair grow? You may well ask. I suppose it's because it makes them look self-important. Ugh. The Narahodos will have a strict family policy of no facial hair, I think. <laughs> okay, Ryanosuke. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what? Sorry. Ace 24. Oh. <laughs> anyway, do not think about the fact that I have a beard. It means nothing. You have a good anyway, tea, that's different. It's technically a beard. Also, he has right. money, who cares? It's true, I do have money. You can relax. The beer tax was confined to the annals of history long ago. Even so, it's clearly something the British really love. Paying taxes, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my my dear Naruhodo Rinosuke. Uh, I Rinosuke, get to leave it. the room. <laughs> <laughs> Paying them. You've got that back to front sunshine. But you can't deny you've had a lot of funny taxes over the years. You never find anything like that in Japan. Are you sure? Would you, Mr. Sato? In actual fact, I'm afraid to say that you would, Miss Narahodo. What? No. You don't mean. Surely there's never been a window tax in Japan. Do you pay your taxes, Mr. Narahodo? <laughs> Wait, do you pay your taxes, Mr. Uh, Naruhodo? Uh, yes, of course I do. <laughs> Are you Are sure? You I'm very sure. <laughs> Mr. Sato, how sure is he? I, I, I can't... Uh, I would say 30% sure. What? Uh, Lord Strongheart. So Sato-san... I can arrest him if you if they'll get me my paycheck. But you, I uh, unfortunately, you need, to, you need to have Japanese jurisdiction to arrest him. Damn. I'm not paying taxes in England. I'm paying taxes in Japan. What are you talking about? Ah, but no, you admit but... it. <laughs> oh my god. There have been similarly obscure taxes in Japan. For example, in the Edo period, there was a frontage tax. What was that? It was a tax not on windows, but on the entrance to properties. You know, the shukan. Oh! The larger a property's entrance was, the greater the tax was that was levied on it. Even today, some mansions survive with extremely narrow entrances due to the old form of taxation. I... I had no idea. Yes, that is because you do not own a mansion, Mr. Naruhodo. <laughs> oh my god. But, no, you don't understand. In, in Japanese, mansions... We, we say the word mansion, but it's more like a very, uh, very fancy apartment. Oh. Oh, wow, that is very small. Oh, <laughs> well, well then, uh, all right then. Uh, hmm. Anyway, Gregson, you had something to say? Hmm. So you Japanese are as twisted as us... As us Americans, I mean Brits. <laughs> yes. But 
But we never had a beer tax. I mean, that's really going a step too far. Yes, Mr. Sato, do you have anything to add to that, please? Well, uh, yes, but, but well, well, no, but, but yes, that's true. And that's where they get taxes for beards, at least. What do you mean, at least? Well, rather than tax them, the Shogunate did once prohibit them outright. The ruling class prohibited beards? It was called the Great Beard Pro Prohibition. It was an end of the period edict. Well, why did the powers that be want to ban beards? I don't know. Ask Nobunaga. <laughs> I think he's dead. Because it makes people look self-important? Just an idea. It would seem that the Voodoo's in the East and the West have very similar ideas over the years. There have been, been other unusual taxes in history, even in the current Beiji period. There have? Oh, yes, please do tell me more! For example, do, do you have the time, Lord Strongheart? I, I, I can make the time! Oh, very, very good then. <laughs> so it was before either of us were born, there was a rabbit tax. The, there was a tax on those adorable fluffy creatures? Like the one who make mochi sweets on the moon? Mr. Narahodo, I hate to burst your bubble, but the rabbits do not live on the moon. What, what do you mean? Of course they live on the moon! You can see them at night! We can't... We, it, we could tax them if they lived on the moon. The moon has its own jurisdiction. <laughs> Anyways, yes, it was a large, extremely large tax too. The government demanded extraordinary sums of money. This just gets stranger and stranger. What was the reason for that bizarre tax then? Well, after Japan opened all its doors to the world, there was an unprecedented rabbit boom in the Meiji capital. A boom? Yes, keeping rabbits became hugely popular, and new species are chained to exorbitant prices. People are even swindled out of all the money for extraordinary colored rabbits. Exotically. Like, Exotic? Wait. It said exotically. I was actually... Oh. I was actually about to say what Ryu Nosuke just said. Oh. <laughs> like, like the colored chickens. Yep. Which that is... was a thing when I grew up. Yeah, which is kind of silly because they don't keep the color when they get older. So, <laughs> like color. That was, that was like eight. I didn't care. Like colored chicks, <laughs> I suppose. Ah, uh, yes. The beanie babies of the 1800s. Nah. Hard to imagine, though. Rabbits are so timid and quiet. Wouldn't have that. Wouldn't have thought one could bankrupt you. So, in response to this worry, social vo vogue, the government imposed a rabbit tax. I suppose they couldn't just ignore the problem. And it worked because the rabbit boom came to an abrupt end. Six years later, the tax was abolished. Well, I hate to say it about my own country, but. Japan is strange. I believe it's government that is strange, Mr. Nadohodo. Mm. I don't, do not think it matters what country, the country it is. Yeah, you have a point. <laughs> you also work for the government, Mr. Lord Strongheart, so you I can also make the <laughs> But there's one more. After the rabbit tax was abolished then, and of course, society reacted by launching straight into a second rabbit boom. Oh dear. The government didn't think that one through, did they? Your ideas about the world are very much altered by the position you hold in society. If you are responsible for the running of the country, you will feel the need to raise revenue keenly. Without a stable taxation system, the whole country will go down the drain. Well, yes, I suppose so, but some of these taxes... That's precisely why ministers of state use their wiles to invent new and novel ways of taxing the public. Novel. For example, I've been thinking of a must I've been thinking of a mustache tax myself. Uh, oh god damn it. <laughs> novel ways? Tell me, Mr. Narodo, if you are one of my country's statesmen. Me? A a British statesman? Yeah, yes, just roll with it. Just roll with it. Yes. What novel tax would you impose? 
Pray, give us something truly original. Inside five seconds. Max novels. Huh? Oh, um. You can say everyone who uses this Nahodo and really squeeze every penny out of the population. Oh my god, so Oh wow, we're really just playing Sim City right now, aren't we? That's quite the intense stare. I'm very glad Sasara san isn't in charge. <laughs> squeeze him dry! <laughs> your time is up. So, what's your answer? Uh, uh well. Air, maybe? Oh yes. my god. How about air? Max the air! <laughs> hmm. Okay, space balls. <laughs> An air tax, you say? Oh, we did this in that hotel. Don't, don't, no. Don't, no. Oh. Don't, don't, oh, don't say that. <laughs> Honestly, I was gonna say toilet paper, but go off. <laughs> <laughs> I should eat now and feed this idea. Well, everyone has to breathe, so while the population is inhaling hair, my air, hair. Air? My government is inhaling money! Jeez, Norodo. Just, just call Blimey. it a, a, a living tax. <laughs> I think we have one of those, to be fair. <laughs> I can't. I hate this country. <laughs> I think most countries have it. Well, it's a stupid tax, anyway. Yes. I mean, your time runs it hard, huh? Yeah. Somewhat radical solution to a country having any problem, but sadly not an original one. <laughs> no, you mean to say? Probably not. You mean attacks on Anne has been imposed in the past? Oh my God! It was last century. The finance minister of our neighbor, France, proposed it. Oh my God. What? Of course the French did. The French. If I ever go for a visit, I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it was strongly opposed by the public and soon scrapped. Minister didn't last long either. Gee, I wonder why. He lasted for one breath. He wasn't quite ahead of the game on that one. <laughs> oh dear. Although clearly that would have been an unattainable situation. Hey Gregson, you got my joke, right? You got my joke, Gregson? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. It's the guillotine joke, get it? Guillotine? <laughs> <laughs> the public at large are forced to be reckoned with. Don't I know it. What about you, Inspector? What new tax would you impose? Hmm, let me see. My first thought is a uh, tax on objections. <laughs> Sorry? Good thing he says yes and not objection. <laughs> and here far too many of them recently in court. There's a particular lawyer I have in mind as it happens. So I think an objection tax could be very handy. Hey, Strongheart, can we put a tax on potato wedges? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Good to, s good to see you don't allow your personal views to influence your work in public office. Hmm. He's actually considering it. Oh my god. I reckon five pence for every objection raised will be about right. Gregson! Most amusing proposal, Gregson. A most unamusing proposal, my lord. No, no, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Please. Let us see where this not. goes. Oh my I'm thinking god. About it. Well then, I think it's your turn now. Sorry? My turn for what? Why, what else? To locate my missing copy of the Lion's Pride. What? No! It's on one of the shelves in this room. Of that, I am certain. Now, I shall give you ten minutes. That's better than five, I guess. And let's shake your student- and let's stake your student stipend on it, hmm? Failed to find the book and you forfeit next month's paycheck. Uh, ob objection. Ah, that's five pence already, I see. Your time starts now. Oh, and one more thing. I believe you just said the word objection. Oh. <laughs> Kindly leave your five pence over there before you begin combing the shelves. 
<laughs> this tax is going to be the death of me. There's a tax for that, too. Don't get too comfortable. Oh, my God. Why are there so many dumb taxes, man? <laughs> Wait, uh, so just to circle back. The government the, frickin' hates us. You see, I the, recently the, read the, a book called The Outer Worlds. The, the the life tax thing is technically that tax is supposed to initially as supposed to pay for your retirement essentially from the government. Supposedly. The problem. Yes. The, the the problem is that's the, supposedly. That's the keyword. Anyways. Yeah, that's the keyword. Supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this one. Oh, some, so someone might want to play Rianosuke unless someone wants to play Iris. Who's all in I'll play one. Ryu Nosuke, I guess. There is a Sholmes, there is a Susato, there's an Iris, and then there's Ryu Nosuke. So okay. I believe that's Louis, yeah. yes. Yep. Yeah, I guess I'll Ryu be Ryu Nosuke, yeah. Um, I'm probably just gonna use my normal voice for Iris for the most part because I'm pretty sure I can't reach that octave with this voice today. <laughs> so where where are we, uh, time wise? Uh, we are at 25 minutes, so we're gonna have to stop here. So it looks like we're just okay. only, I think we just only have enough for one episode per video. So that's probably going to end up happening. All right, then. All we'll right. Stop here and continue on in the next video. See you all then.